my computer and I have no idea how that happened. Like I would not have been back there to where I could have ripped it out. So don't know, weird. It was just sitting there in pieces and I'm like, why am I not able to connect to the internet? And uh, sure enough, that's all it was. So I had to go rush and find me another <coughs> network cable. Thankfully I had another spare. Uh, but it took me a minute to go find it. So anyway, there we go. We're back. We're doing some stuff. Let me get everything going here. Sorry for the delay and kind of the frazzled nature of the things but uh here we are we're playing some australia uh we do have one two three four five six seven cities that's right um it's been a weird a weird one right this is our first coastal city as australia so take that for what you will um but i don't even know did i decide what victory we're going for what did i call this thing just the flexibility of john curtain is what i called this series so it basically just tells us that you know we are um we're going to be very flexible, exactly exactly what it sounds like. We're not going to have to worry too much about him. Now, he is swinging around here, trying to come at Melbourne from a different angle, because we do have this wall of soldiers here to defend against him attacking us head on. But uh, honestly, we we really need to deal with uh, the Ottomans here at some point, because they are going to be some trouble for us at some point in the future. Uh, we're working on getting the cavalry line infantry. Line infantry obviously will be helpful, because it'll match up very nicely with theirs. Uh, we don't have cores yet, do we? Do we even have access to cores yet? We do not. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We do. We do. I'm sorry. That's uh, under... Cores are under what? Nationalism. There we go. So we do have access to cores, don't we? Yeah. Um. So we can start getting some of these cannons turned into that here soon, which is probably a really good idea. All right. Well, we'll play it out. We'll see what have, where it goes. Obviously, these guys are coming down here to deal with some things, but I'm not super concerned about... I mean, honestly, our military strength is theoretically stronger than the Ottomans have right now. We just, uh, we need some artillery if we're going to go take out some of his cities at some point. Right, getting a pasture there does do us, uh, give us a little bit of a border growth, which is awesome. You are... I'm sure I had something planned for you, but for now, I guess we're just going to come over here and hook up a lumber mill. You're just going to chill, waiting for these guys to circle around. Obviously, get within range and we can start popping them. Uh, we can actually make a core right now between you two, but I'd rather make it with a less promoted cannon. All three of our cannons are actually fairly promoted at the moment. So I'll probably work on a second cannon here in just a bit. Start getting some cores going here soon. All right, so now they're starting to get in range of us to be able to bop them a bit here. I guess we'll go for the... Uh, probably go for the melee units first, just because they're the ones that are... They're the only ones that can actually take the city. Uh, yeah, honestly, plantation down here does look good. All right, Sydney, how much long would it take you to get a field cannon going? 22 turns. You just have terrible production over here. You were never really meant for production. I guess we're going to get you some walls just so you can defend yourself a little bit. Oh. I was not actually expecting you to completely destroy him, but it's fine. All right, so all the melee units are dead. We don't have to worry about those anymore. Uh, I mean, these cannons are going to be problematic, but we'll deal with that as we can. Uh, housing is actually pretty bad here. A dam would be good at some point. Also, aqueduct would be good at some point. We can actually put the dam and the aqueduct in the same two places, so it doesn't really matter one way or the other there. Honestly, probably the dam... I don't think it matters one way or the other. I was going to say, there's not really an adjacency next to an uh, industrial zone that we can set up. And we could technically put an industrial zone over here if we put either the dam or the aqueduct there. Which one gives us better adjacency? I think it's actually, it might be the same. Plus two from aqueduct, plus two from dam, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, we'll put the dam over here. And we'll start working on that. Hey, old lady, six guy. Good science, so I'm assuming she's probably in the lead. Yeah, she's definitely in the lead scientifically. Not a no huge surprise stopped. there. There's our line infantry. Let me go ahead and see if we can get a friendship with you. Do we want an alliance? I mean, some sort of alliance is probably not a bad idea. All right. Um, I mean, I guess we'll start bopping the ones that are less powerful. Almost. That'll be fine. Of 
Cool. All right. Five turns on that. That'll give us some border growth. Hopefully get us the horses. Um, just don't have a pasture on them yet, which is nice. Yeah, let's see here. We could start grouping these guys up, though. Especially now that they can become line infantry. Wait, can we not do cores? Oh, there's two different units. I'm dumb. Um, these guys would be the ones I want to group up. This pike and shot with that one. So we'll move this pike and shot over here. You are... Could become a skirmisher at some point. For now, we're just going to keep you exploring. Um, is there any reason not to turn you into an line infantry now? I don't think so. It's going to make us a little bit stronger. You could work on a field cannon. Try to be able to defend ourselves here quite a bit. And again, obviously, we'd like to get a couple of bombards or something. Be able to take the uh, attack to him. And uh, basically make this war count for something. He's going to cause some havoc. Probably destroy some, some things. Obviously, he's already killed a unit. Not super concerned otherwise, though. Not yet, at least. Uh, chopping this would probably be good. It's a Plains Hills tile. We'll come down there. All right, so you can only hit that. You can only hit that. It'll be over there. Um, doesn't really matter who blows us up. We'll just let you blow it up, get some XP. And yeah, he came in and we destroyed all of his units. So obviously we're not super concerned about him. All right, uh, more field cannons, I think. Let's get these up to cores at least. And then we can start working on going on the offensive. Bolt actions speak louder than. Yep, done. All right, you can move back into there. <laughs> He's the one that started this attack. I have no idea what he thought he was doing, but whatever. Alrighty. Uh, I mean, working our way up to artillery would be amazingly good. Except that we don't have a way to get oil right now, do we? Uh, we don't even know where oil is. So let's figure out where oil is. Um, and kind of go from there. We don't have coal either. Oof. We don't have anybody that can even get coal. Yeah. It's the problem with having slightly small nations. I mean, I can usually win a game with about six cities. But the problem with having small nations is you just have less places that can get the good strategic resources. Don't think we're building a coal power plant anytime soon for obvious reasons because we don't have coal. All right, you're going to go ahead and core with you. Major drought. All right, you're going to go ahead and chop that. Uh, you are going to work on what? You just build walls, which is fine. Industrial zone at some point would be good. Obviously, commercial hubs, campuses, all the things would be good. And a commercial hub here wouldn't be too bad. It might actually, would it, but it border growth the coal? I think it would, wouldn't it? Get a commercial hub there. Um, you are good for now. Just alert. Because we got the thing that lets us get voter growth from our districts because of the uh, World Congress. So if we can get a couple of those, that would be helpful. Okay, you guys just chill. I um, mean, there's a line infantry over here that I don't know how concerned we need to be just yet. I was going to say, hopefully they're just going to keep coming at us instead of over here at Hobart. If they went after Hobart, they could probably get Hobart, but thankfully they are not. I don't think there's any policies that we need to change right this second. Still got the loyalty going, which I think is kind of important for the moment. Yeah, I think we're good for now. I don't see anything jumping out at me that's, like, critical. All right, so you did fail, but we didn't die. You don't have a promotion yet, so we'll go ahead and keep trying to steal technologies. Um, but obviously, we want to get up to the three cores, get up to armies and stuff. I guess we're not building an art museum anytime soon. We'll go ahead and knock that out. Uh, envoys. We've got two envoys. We can get Vilnius on our side. Get some adjacency from it. The, the theater squares that we don't have. <laughs> um, 
love to get Mogadishu up to three, but it's not, there's no point there. I don't know. I guess we'll get us an alliance. Or not alliance, but a, uh, a vast, not vast. What am I trying to say? Who's run? There we go. <laughs> Too many other games that I've been playing lately. Alrighty. Four turns, three turns. Got your factory coming out. We got one turn on this diplomatic quarter, which should give us border growth there. We can then bop a pasture down, which we don't have a builder for. Okay. I'll have to get us a builder for that. Let's get rid of these. Not super concerned about these guys. Um, you are housing kept right now. An aqueduct probably would be a good idea. Also have the consulate and things like that. Also would like to get the builder. Let's knock out a builder so we can get this thing hooked up and get some more border growth that way. Uh, one envoy is not really going to be that helpful right this second. So we're just going to sit on it I mean we might not be like super strong right now but we are very defensive which is awesome So I'm not really concerned about him attacking us at all. It would be nice if we had oil right here in the middle of this lake. Let's do that. Although we wouldn't be able to get it right away because it, it would be uh, oil and water as opposed to uh, land-based oil. We could build a coal power plant. We do have coal. Not yet, but we will be getting coal soon. So, and we're getting coal from our ally, right? From our city-state. So maybe we do go ahead and get us a coal power plant. Now is Ballarat where we want to put it? I think we want to put it in Canberra because it's more centrally located. But it does mean we could move off of refining. Which might not be a bad idea. Let's grab the stock exchange. Kind of get some more gold coming in. Gold is obviously what's going to make the world go around. Um, let's just put you back here. We're not. We're going to be able to kill this guy here in just a moment. No worries. Ow. What do we get credit for that? Wait, did we build a... No. <laughs> what, do we, what do we get a boost for? Did we just... We might have explored a goody hut or something. I was like, why did we get that? Uh, field cannon is done here. And we want more field cannons. So we're just going to do another one right away. And you are going to, I guess, move off. Group with one of you guys. Doesn't really matter who. I guess we'll group with you. You can't shoot anybody anyway. And you can pop this dude. Goodbye. And Trader does not have a... Oh, did you pillage something? They must have somewhere. I don't see it. But I guess we got a thing pillaged. Uh, no, we're not giving away our knight or not yet. Maybe soon. Like, he has no military left. Like we need, it's now's the time to go on the attack, except we just can't get through those walls. So we do need to get, um, we need to get, a, we got to get artillery. Build a coal man, I, mine in an ironclad. Well, we can get a coal mine here in seven turns. All right, did lose a couple alliances. <gasps> we do have oil in the lake. I told you, that's what we wanted. Oil in the lake. Now, obviously, uh, <laughs> one thing of oil is not a lot, but it's going to get us enough to get a few, you know, a couple of cursory um, artillery. And, uh, but we can't, we can't improve this yet, right? We have to get the, uh, but we could trade for oil and know that we're eventually going to get our own oil. So trading for a little oil to get us started would be an okay idea. All right, let's go ahead and get our friendships back. Very important, as well as alliances. I think we did... Uh, I'm assuming we did research with you. And then, I don't know what we did with you. Probably uh, economic, right? Yeah. Cool. All right, looks good to me. Oh, 
no, they're coming back at us. But this time with things that they bought. Again, we're not that worried about it. Uh, you're going to move over here to get rid of that guy. Again, you're just chilling. Um, you are going to blow this up. Keep coming. Please. Please keep feeding me. I appreciate it greatly. All right. So we got all of the field cannons done. You've already turned into a core. We can get another line infantry to get you turned into a core. Which is probably not a bad idea. But we also do need to get the bombards going soon. I'm hoping to wait for the uh, artillery. Let's get the line infantry first. We could wait for the artillery. As soon as the line infantry finishes, we will be able to get artillery. So when we get the coal mine to get that one finished. Which we can do. And then we'd have to buy an ironclad. Which we probably could do. In fact, we could buy an ironclad right now. Um, sure. Let's go ahead and get an ironclad bot. So that part of it's done. And it's going to start using some of the coal that we've got, but it's only going to use a little bit of it. Uh, let's go and get you walls just so you're good to go. All right. We're not building an art museum anytime soon. So we'll let that one just finish as is. Yeah, I'm glad. Just go explore and do things. Build cannon. Just chill until you get your partner. Trade route. I still don't know what how we lost a trade route. You're good. Oh, it's down here. I'm assuming it was a flood. So I guess we do need to finish the dam first. Cause I don't. Yeah, it had to be in a flood because it got that side too. So. All right. Well, we do we definitely need to finish that. Oh, will we steal this from Fez? With this with this thing oh it's only 13 turns we need to really push on the production um we need to send a guy over here to chop to speed this up okay we need to get us another a builder over here in fact ballarat i think you need to build a builder four turns okay let's get a builder here Come over here to help that city out a little bit. See if we can get that done in time before this thing. Because if the set, if we get it done before the session, I think we'll get the border growth. So we're going to see if that will work. I'm assuming that type of district counts as well. Right, you're ready to group up. All right, that gives us three cores. Good stuff. All right, let's see if we can trade for anything at the moment. I mean, we don't care about iron, I suppose. Do we really care about niter anymore? Kind of moving past niter at this point. Yeah. Oh, he brought in some tanks. Well, good on him. That seems to be the entirety of his military, though. I mean, again, he's going to cause some problems. He's going to be able to pillage things, and it's going to be problematic. But I'm not otherwise worried about a single tank unit running about doing whatever it does. I mean, it's obviously stronger than anything else he's brought this way, but I can't imagine he's going to be able to take the city with just one tank. Famous last words. Um, okay, you do have a promotion available. I guess we'll grab Disrupt Rocketry for now. All right, one more turn. We will swap off steel because we do have the ironclad. We're going to get the coal mine here in a bit, in theory. Um, so I think we can swap off steel and save us a couple cycles there. Um, let's go down to suppression so we get the second attack soon. I mean, I don't really want him running around pillaging stuff, but honestly, I don't really have anything else for us to do right this second. We'll just let him do his thing. We'll, he'll get within range of one of our stuff soon. Um, what do we want to do here? Honestly, I'd like to send you over to Brisbane, get some production there. I did have a trader out plundered, which is unfortunate. But we had a spare trader out, so it all works out. 
projects a fragile kind of strength. Right. So don't think we're doing anything with that. We do want you to do whatever's max production, so that looks good there. You're just running your tank around doing whatever, huh? You might be able to kill this field cannon, to be fair. You turn it into a uh, uh, line of tree. Which I just realized... Well, we can turn that into an army here in a bit. So it's okay that we have an extra one coming in. I totally forgot that you were over here. Uh, I guess we're not getting a great merchant anytime soon. Or we can get one now. It's not a good one, though. It's not a good one at all. Um... I don't really want. I don't think I was going to go for a tourism victory this time around. Mm. We don't need mysticism, so I think it's it's basically spinning some. Oh, we don't have gold or faith. Never mind. We don't have enough for that one anyway. All right, fine. We'll just finish it. Bit unfortunate, but it's okay. Uh, so you just finished the builder. Stock exchange looks good. You are done with the commercial hub, which gave us the boost here. Uh, let's go ahead and get us a builder to be able to connect a few things there. This builder is going to come over here and chop this to try and rush that. Really? You're going to go through the water? I'm not sure if that was very advisable, my friend, but whatever. Five points. So we could take... We could get a Kai to not be a, a thing anymore. Um, would give us some points here. We're only in a normal age right now. We can't steal anything else. We could get some things up to six, though. Like Fez. Let's get Fez up to six. Last two I don't think we're going to do anything with right now. Well, I don't know. Let's get Preslov up to three. Might come in, in a few spots. to move you out, but with this tank roaming and roaming around, I don't feel safe. <clears throat> Such a weird path. Uh, you need to group with this dude over here. Oh, another tank. Hello. Alright, start working on... Uh, I guess we'll start working on bombards. We can't, because we don't have any nitre. Alright, well then we'll be getting... Oh, I forgot to swap off steel. Silly me. Got distracted by the tank. Sounds like something I would never do. Uh, we'll go for sanitation here. Right, I guess we'll finish the bank then. Actually, you really need housing. Right, even if this builder gets taken, I'm glad he did what he did, because that gives us that in two turns, which should be perfect, should allow us to steal the spices. Alright, goodbye you. Now we just got a solitary tank going around. We'll just go ahead and move you over, see if we can get close to him. Alright, feel a little safer you bumping out to there. Get supporter growth there. Ooh. In a market economy, however, 
All right, let me come back to that here in a second. First off, let's see if we can get rid of this tank. If we get rid of this tank, then I feel safe with that. I have to move out. Then we can do some damage. We can't quite get rid of it, though. So I'll move you here. I'll move this line of tree here. Move you down. Just try to surround him so that guy doesn't have to worry about hopefully dying here. Alright, we already got the boost for colonialism. Man, we need a... Uh, housing everywhere! Uh, Camper, we were going to do the coal power plant. So let's do that. Not that we need the boost anymore, but let's go ahead and get at least a power plant. Uh, let's move over here and get that repaired. Uh, we did just get the boost for the line infantry. Yes, yes, we did. So we can group you guys up here in a moment. Let me just fortify you for now. Um, guess we can chop both of these and put uh, the uh, outback stations nearby. Oh, look. Oh, it's a tank army. He really likes his tanks. So we did get the border growth there, which is awesome. It's what we were hoping for. All right. I guess we'll just go for... Let's go for a military academy. You guys are going to obviously blow up that guy. I guess I should have used a field cannon. It's all right. Um, you're going to go ahead and heal up, my friend. You are going to group up with this guy. Get back into our line here. Uh, this tank might capture you, but I'm going to do the chop here. Ah, uh, field cannon. I guess I'll move you back over to Melbourne. I don't know why it says you can get there in one turn, but you can't. I mean, I guess a pair of mines over here is fine for now, though eventually we might change it to something else. Really need to turn you into a uh, anti-tank unit. Oh, lots of tanks. All right, it's starting to get a little scarier. So our units are—I mean, they're—they're they're gonna be able to deal with it, but it's gonna take them a while to deal with it. Unfortunately, these guys will be able to run around wreak havoc for a few cycles. Um, let's go grab that. That'll finally get us our digger units, which are going to be very strong. So that's probably... Probably worth going for pretty quickly here. Maybe I should have done it sooner. If we can get a military academy down here, I think that's fine as well. All right, so they killed something, but it was a weak unit. So I'm not super concerned about that. All right, Cole over here, please get out of my way. Uh, they have a lot more tank units now. Starting to get a little, little scarier. Yeah, we probably need to push towards anti-tank crews pretty quickly here. I'd love to get two neighborhoods. They're just not in a position to do that. Or, I mean, really, we just got to get... These digger crews are going to be... Or digger crews. Diggers are going to be, I think, good enough for us for right now. It's a good thing about being Australian and having a late game bonus unit. They are pretty strong. Again, they're going to cause havoc, which is annoying, but I'm not politics, sure that they're going to take anything. Realism. Might not need the loyalty boost anymore.
Hmm. Industrial zone adjacency would be nice. Just a little more production. Or just get more gold. I also just grab the discount on upgrades, but I don't think those are coming up very often. Let's grab that one. See if that does for us. We're losing loyalty over here now. I think we're still okay. Alrighty, um, still tick boost. I don't know, can two tanks take Canberra by itself? Not sure, actually. The best steel. She's surprised we don't have seven different specialty districts already. That's several. Oh, that's a really good one. That's a good, good, good guy. We need that one. Um, yeah, let's go and knock out a trader real quick. You get us three oil per turn. Grants trade risk. Uh, your trader's grant plus two gold for each strategic resource. That is a really nice one. Free oil, which means we can start getting um, artillery for sure. Two envoys. Can't quite get Fez. I think we sit on the Envoys for now. Man, you got a lot of tanks coming in, buddy. Wow, we didn't even compete for this. If you have to attack, but then you just take an attack back, so that's not really good. Hmm. I mean, it's fine, but definitely getting concerning. I mean, he's doing one type of unit, so in theory, we should be able to combat that one type of unit. Not in the world that he's killing a few things. We kind of expect that. Uh, I don't really care. Unless he's still in tech boost higher would be good. I mean, we'll say us, but that's all we'll do there. All right, we actually got some, we got three uses out of the uh, border growth from uh, districts down, which is awesome. So no more kill power plants. Great. Uh, but we do have the Steel Tech Boost higher, which is awesome. And then Victoria actually got the two Diplo points. Yeah, we just have no way to combat three tanks at the moment. Our units are just a bit too weak. I mean, I'd like to start getting artillery, but we can't do artillery because we have no way to defend against him. But we can't defend against him until we get some anti-tank crews. Kind of stuck. I mean, I guess a pair of field cannons in Canberra will at least do some damage. I mean, to be fair, artillery will do some damage and we will need them eventually. So maybe we just go ahead and do that after all.
We're third on diplomacy right now. I right, kind of expected that. I figured we'd do some damage back to him. I could have upgraded that unit to a digger unit. That would have been awesome, but it's all right. Uh, I guess we'll do you so you can get a uh, some XP. He might take Perth. Has enough units over there, I think, to deal do some damage. Uh, doing a big digger. Got our first digger there. I actually boost the attack strength of this city quite a bit. Uh, do we need you over here? No. Let's move you. They're going to be going after uh, Perth over here. Let's go ahead and get you a little more defensiveness. Uh, working our way up to machine guns. Would actually be pretty strong. Um, still want that, but we'd have to go through neighborhoods, which I, I don't think we're going to get. So let's go ahead and just go straight for chemistry. Getting some anti tank crews would be... I mean, given our current situation, very strong. Um... Seven different special districts. So we got campus, we got industrial zone, we got encampment, we got commercial hub. We've got, I think for this, the uh, aqueducts and dams count. So like the aqueduct and the dam. And that is it. Okay, so we are missing one. Oh no, we got the government plaza. So maybe those don't count. So maybe we need something to replace the aqueduct and the dam. Because they don't count for that. Well, a harbor over here would be a good start. So even though I know I'm doing walls, we never did the harbor. <laughs> we never actually unlocked the harbor because it was just, I thought I figured eventually we would do two sea resources and get a little bit of a boost, but we just never did. That's kind of funny. Uh, we could buy our way out to some two sea resources. So I guess after the walls, wait, why do you already have, oh, we already got conservation, huh? Uh, well, in that case, we don't really need the walls right now. Then let's go ahead and go for... Well, we don't need a builder that way. Let's buy a builder. Let's buy our way out to the sea resources, because why not? And then get those hooked up, and then we'll get the uh, harbor. And that'll get us another district. But I think we're still one short. I don't know what the last one would be. Neighborhood? Is that something would count? Or I guess theater square. We never did the theater square. Wow, you got a lot of tanks. At least we can deal with this artillery. Um, I still don't understand why you don't I guess we have to force it. Because otherwise, for some reason, he goes through the water. And I don't understand that. Um, I guess we'll do an artillery here, then. Unless we want to do some diggers. Do some artillery. We're going to try to go on the offensive. 112. <laughs> well, in theory, we're going to try to go on the offensive soon. Sanitation. 
Hmm. There's not a lot for you to do. You're not a very good city at the moment. Guess we'll just have you slow build a digger to dig go with the one you got. We're not building an archaeology museum, so I guess we'll finish that one straight up. Oh, they're actually starting to attack the city, which does feel like we're okay. Especially since we got rid of an army right there, which is huge. Still got two more armies floating about, but we'll work through it. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Um, now we're going to do the aqueduct here as well. Might as well. Yeah, same attack our cities, I'm not immediately concerned. Because I'm not really doing that much damage in the grand scheme. I mean, he's going to do some damage as far as, like I said, pillaging things that I don't want him to pillage, but otherwise I'm not super concerned about it at the moment. All right, military academy done here. Another artillery, another pair of artillery actually would be good. Siphon funds. I mean, I've got the quartermaster finally, but we've already got a different offensive promotion, so I think we'll just ignore that for now. He's up and pillage something, got some heals. Boo. Weirdly, going into the water is a better move for you because it would put you, give you the ability to get over to the city uh, without him attacking us. Actually kind of annoying because our artillery is going to get killed now because I can't get it because of the adjacency. He had, that was actually a smart move by him. Because of the adjacency he just put on us, I can't kill this unit. Huh. Not the artillery. I want to move the Kill a cannon out. Okay, so that at least kills the unit. But it puts those guys vulnerable, which is not what I wanted. But in theory, we can get the artillery up to Melbourne. And next turn, get one of you guys in if you're still alive, hopefully. I have my doubts at the moment. Hmm. Well, we got some artillery. We got. We need to get a um, drone, not a drone, a uh, balloon, so that we can get the extra range. Because we're obviously not going to go against 112 defense with artillery that don't have any extra 
range, but we also need to get a bunch of AT crews to be able to knock out these dudes that are coming at us. It's going to be building lots of tanks. we got to deal with that. Yeah, I told you, we are going to lose that. It was just bad luck that the uh, field cannon, or the artillery came out at the time it did. It's really bad luck. Man, I guess we could have moved the artillery out and sacrificed the artillery. It just felt bad to sacrifice the artillery that we had just built. But either way, we were sacrificing something. So that was kind of a lose-lose situation, no matter how we did it. Really unfortunate. I mean, yeah, we got rid of a couple armies, but we lost a very promoted field cannon, which is... I think we lost out on that. Very, very sad about that. But I don't know what else we could have done, honestly. We couldn't move because of the adjacency. Let's grab Heartbeat of Steam. Man, I'm really bummed by that. It really bothers me, big time. <laughs> that's, that's, that's really bad. Losing that field cannon is absolutely the worst thing that could happen for us. I probably should have lost the artillery. To just sacrifice the artillery that we had literally just built. Ah, I guess I could have swapped off of it. That's what I should have done. I should have swapped off the production of the artillery. Once I, as soon as I realized that it was going to happen. But I actually thought the artillery was going to be able to escape. I didn't expect him to adjacency block us like that. I, mean, I guess we start working on some field cannon replacements because we need at least a couple of them. Stop going over here by this guy. I wish this wasn't blocked because of this guy. I mean, I get that he can shoot us, but it's just annoying. Just let him let him stay automated. <laughs> you To a medic, might as well. All right, let's finish repairing some things. You can work on the harbor. Oh, not yet. That's right. We got to me back off of this real quick. Grab that, and then we'll go back to the other thing. I know it's silly that I haven't done the harbor yet, but it just we haven't needed it. We've only got one coastal city. And all I ask is a tall... uh, let's take the promotion here. Get this turned to a core. Oh, because we can't see it. I was like, how come you can't shoot? Because we can't see it. Fair enough. Oh, are you at war with them? Nice. 
That'll kind of take some pressure off of us. Oh. Alrighty. Um... Walk away from a land in all works on natural history. Let's buy us a balloon. Which actually means we'd be able to hit this city from here. All right, working our way up to uh, machine guns would be useful. Although also finding aluminum would be useful. Do the aluminum first. See if we got any. Still can't believe we haven't got seven specialty districts. Again, I guess the uh, harbor over here, which we can do now. I'm gonna buy us a builder over here. Help connect a few more things. Cool. Go with that. Um, with our artillery coming out here. We got the intact tank crews finally starting to come out. We do need to work our way up to armies very soon. Oh, he's got an artillery coming at us. Oh, no. I can take the shot with you if at all possible. Get the XP boost. Have the vision yet. I guess we need to get us another spy to get some vision here. This observation balloon, I guess, gives us the vision, so never mind. We're good there. Um, what happened over here? Oh, was that? Oh, it was a tornado, wasn't it? I think it was a tornado. Yes, I would love to get the research lab. Um, let's see if they just go right there. Wouldn't be bad. Would give us another boost. You know what? Let's do it. I know we could have gotten rid of the rice, but that's okay. We got plenty of housing. or get plenty of people here. A war envoys. We could... Hmm. Let's swap Preslov. Not super, super valuable, but it does give us some points. So let's do that. A couple arrows score. Now he's not doing anti or doing tanks anymore. Now he's just doing a bunch of artillery. Wait, what was over here? She had a city here, didn't she? How did, did it get destroyed? And I didn't even know it as well. I did not realize her city got destroyed. We could have put a thing there. I haven't been paying attention.
What do we get from this if it doesn't have a pasture? Still a little bit. A little decent, I guess. Um, let's move you into the city, I suppose. Alright, two envoys. Do, 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 do. I mean, we can get one at Singapore, I suppose. Or we can get two at Mogadishu. Probably two at Mogadishu is a little bit better. Wow, oh, Egypt. I haven't seen you in a while. We're doing some damage, not really feeling threatened yet. We just don't have a we're not in a position to be able to go on the offense quite yet either. Gotta build back up our military. Now that we at least have some technological advance that's gonna help us a little bit. Uh, I didn't get friends with you first. I'm sorry, my dear. I don't know. If you can make your way back over here, then we'll do something. If not, no worries. I guess we'll take the shot with you so you get some XP. Uh, artillery, I guess. Start shooting the city. Not going to be able to do much, but every little bit's going to help with some promotions and things. Um, hmm. <clears throat> Put you here and start shooting the city as well, but you'd just be out in the open, which is problematic. Put you here. That's not a hill, though. Put you here. At least you'd be defensive. But we'd have to put the observation balloon in the middle, which is not great, unless we coupled it with something else that's defensive, like maybe the digger once it gets upgraded. Just hold on where we're at for now. some damage. Alright, the AT here could actually defend the balloon in the middle here. So maybe we go that route. Now oh, you have promotion I should have taken. That's alright. Alright. Um... Honestly, another AT crew probably is a good idea. Get a couple of those. Probably a couple diggers. Oh, we need to get another artillery on here. I don't know why I did the amphitheater. We'll finish the amphitheater since I already started it, but probably not the most critical thing for us. We'll do an aqueduct, but... Well, actually, we could do an aqueduct right there. Let's get us a builder to chop that. A lot of units up here at Preslov. I guess Preslov is at the very least is distracting him. Oh no, he killed our scout. What will we do? A world without radio is a deaf world. All right, what's next? I mean, working our way up to aircraft would be massive. Airplanes are, I mean, we've already got five planes we could get, but airplanes in general are really strong. I guess working our way towards plastics to be able to get the offshore rig. 
And then maybe circle back to fighters. Do we even have aluminum? Does not look like we do. It's very disappointing in that. Yeah, we don't have any. Yeah, we might actually be able to culture flip that at some point. Oh, we lost that tile, but I'm not super concerned about that. Yeah, we just don't have any aluminum, do we? Hmm. Tis a shame. All right, let's get our second artillery for this guy. Start focusing on doing things that are helpful to our overall situation. My infantry army is actually going to be problems. Um, let's get you on dock to go there. Oh, got an airplane. No, we're going to say no. Oh, that biplane is... I'm a little concerned about the biplane. Biplanes, bi one biplane by itself is actually enough to start wreaking some serious havoc. We need to get some airfields up. Here, the dark brown emo. The biplane that shot us, I didn't see. Had to have been, right? Alright, maybe we start popping some aerodromes out in a few places, such as over here. guys behind here get some healing for this dude with the uh medic honestly there's several several drums were floating about probably okay We're gonna move you out of the way, although you're not gonna be able to get full escape, are you? Um, uh, you might just die here because we're not gonna be able to get you far enough away for the biplane not to be able to hit you. So honestly, I think we just heal you where you're at, which means this guy will be close enough to get a little bit of extra health, but it's probably not gonna be enough. You're probably gonna die. So we'll move you over here to repair that slowly but surely. military strike. It's interesting. You've been booted out. Six more turns. I don't know. Um, no, that was just that was just telling us that we had it. We didn't have a promotion there. Never mind. 
was just telling us how a governor removed. All right, we're not going to do anything with combustion. We're not going to get an artifact. We're not going to get a neighborhood right this second, I don't think. Oh, we did get the boost for civil engineering. Let's go back and get that one. I think you're dead. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you're dead. We'll see. Oh, we gotta get friends with Mongolia. Uh, what do we have duplicates of? I actually don't know. I know we have Jade. I know we have Spices. Two Spices. Guess we'll see if we can get some Diplo points here. So they, they always like to do the no amenities for some reason. It's kind of strange. We did get the two Diplo points, though. Mistake that people make when trying to design. Right, plug that one up there for the moment. Um, nothing here really jumps out as me. It's something that we need to grab right this second. Do like the gold, do like the science. Science feels more critical. Let's go that route. Ah, he did not attack us because he upgraded, which means he's stronger now. It's actually worse for us. Probably dead, I would assume. Guess we'll find out. If we get the airplanes go. We get a defensive airplane. That'll help a lot. We got enough money to buy an airplane right away. This can come... Cover these guys a bit, which will be good. Um, I don't know, actually. <laughs> what do we want to do? I think we're going to promote you up. Might not come up very often, but occasionally we're going to do some, some things. Oh, let's make friends with you, please. To 10 diplo points, we're in the lead there. Okay, he didn't attack our artillery. A little surprised by that. So artillery's done. What else do we need to kind of make this all work? I mean, honestly, we need another. We need at least three artillery, I feel like, to feel comfortable. Uh, we can go ahead and buy us a biplane, which we will just to help defend it a little bit. Um, what else do we need to go with everything? I mean, we need to start getting things turned to armies soon-ish. Do we need another digger crew? I don't know if we need another set of diggers. Uh, more spies, I guess. There's value there. Let's go right into a hangar, maybe. And we can get one more airplane, right? So... Based on the oil that we have.
Okay, so he did one shot with his airplane. We're one turn short of being able to get our airplane over there to defend. Now, a biplane's going to be weaker against the, this guy, obviously. We know that. But it'll still be able to stop him from killing us. Uh, I guess we'll take the shot. No, you're not going to be able to kill it. We'll just take the shot there, then. All right, you're going to deploy. Oh, can't deploy all the way over there. So we rebase to Melbourne. This will buy us another one. Um, you just need to get towards the extra range, I think, quickly here. You just finished an AT crew. What do we want you to do? <laughs> like more aerodromes would be nice, except we don't have the uh, oil for everything. But honestly, maybe we still do it, because it will give us the ability to do... Uh, the fighters are going to... Fighters and bombers are, might be exactly what we need for this situation. Help turn the tide a bit here. Aqueduct is done here. I guess we can go back to working on the consulate. Do need to get better airplanes though. This fighter is better than ours. Uh, I was not expecting the tank to swing out of nowhere. All right, we're just not going to be able to put an artillery out there. It is unfortunate. Man, this guy is just a pain in my rear end. Oh, he did blow up my... I mean, the airplane did defend, but he's basically dead now, so... That is not good for us. Put you there, and then we will... We need to rebase you back. We just need you to come back home. Like, so we can heal you back up. I guess this guy's stronger than that, but this fighter is not going to be able to do a bunch by much by itself. I don't feel like we need to do peace yet. I mean, we're not winning. We're just not losing yet. We're, it's, it's definitely costing us a lot, though. Oh, a meteor shower. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. It's not near us. Love to do that attack. I should have done that attack first, just so we can get some damage on him. I mean, if this spearman can make it over here and hit that, I doubt it'd still be there when he gets there, though. But we'll try. It gets us a free tank, so why not? You just kill. Oh, you did kill my biplane. You must have more than one then. Was not expecting you to kill the biplane, to be perfectly honest. Shows you how strong airplanes can be. They are ridiculously strong. I should have pushed toward them sooner, to be honest. 
I would have dealt with all those tanks quite nicely. Oh, I guess we're getting us another biplane. On this earth, okay, I do need to get the oil hooked up as soon as possible. And we need to start pushing towards better airplanes, because that's the only way we're going to be able to defend ourselves here. might not even be able to push the biplanes out until we get these upgraded. I don't know. I feel like they're going to be a little bit too weak at the moment. Just worried what else we're going to lose between now and then. Getting that hooked up is good. Um, supply convoy, just chill. Honestly, you're just going to chill here, Mr. Artillery. Biplane, I don't know if we do anything with you right now. Worried that he'll just kill us if we don't have you upgraded yet. So I guess we'll hold off. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to need aluminum for the next level of fighters, and we don't have any. That is actually really bad for us. I guess go back over to Sebus. I mean, if we can, I was gonna say, if we can use you guys to attack offensively, that's fine. Let me show, I might rebase you over here. I don't know if that'll give you enough space to attack or not, but it might help. We can do a little bit of attacks that'll give you some ape, some uh, XP boost, which would be nice. All right, we do need to purchase some aluminum, unfortunately, which I don't know that we're going to be able to get. That is a lot of gold. Um, I mean, I feel like we have to. Guess we don't need it yet. We can hold off for a few more ticks. We did actually make it over there and got the tank. Nice. Was not expecting that. What I like about cities is that everything is king size. The beauty. Making our upgrades cheaper here in a moment actually would be pretty good. Probably more valuable than that. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I just had it. There it is. Um, I think everything else stays basically the same as it is, though. Three more turns. We'll have better fighters. I mean, it's not much, but it's XP. Right, you get mobilization now. Let's 
just go for a hangar. Can't get more airplanes now, though. And actually putting two airplanes out at the same time might be worth it, but we're going to wait till this guy gets fully healed up. Honestly, we, at this point, we might as well just wait for the, uh, the, uh, better versions of planes. <laughs> We get our first neighborhood down. Not a very good neighborhood, though, is it? I'm just going to do this one down here. I mean, this one's slightly better, I suppose. Uh, I guess I'll try to get you an alliance back, please. All right, do we put both of our airplanes out now? Together, would they be enough? I don't know that we do. Since this guy's still got, got an avenue of attack to get him some XP, I think we go ahead and keep getting you XP. I didn't realize you were losing loyalty over here. I mean, I know it would be big in the message, but I didn't, wasn't paying attention. Um, we're about to get a population growth. I'm not sure how concerned we are just yet. Although we're not really using Liang for anything. So let's just move Liang over there. Uh, and I actually just realized we have Reyna back. I'll help you go through... Actually, Ballarat. There's a lot of trade routes coming from Ballarat. One more turn on our airplanes. Come on, we gotta get him. This guy might die. Uh, you're gonna move up to here. If that guy doesn't die, then you can turn into an army, which would be awesome. We need more XP for our uh, air units. Isn't there a? There's a thing for that, isn't there? We start to exchange more gold. Do that. You need some production over here, buddy. I mean, it's just a plus two, but it's something. Nice. Yes, I knew he was going to kill him. Not a big surprise. If God had really intended men. But we got our upgrades. Oh, we need the aluminum. Uh, let's go by. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. Let's make sure there's nothing there. Uh, aluminum. It's a little bit cheaper. We'll take it. Can we sell anything that we don't need? I mean, it's not super valuable, but it's something. We have coal coming in. I mean, it's too coal, and we got plenty, so better than nothing. Cool. All right, we'll go with that. What about oil? Could sell some oil. We are positive oil, right? So selling a little bit of oil is not going to hurt anything. It'll help offset the uh, aluminum cost, actually. As long as we have some oil, I think I think this is fine. Do we sell this last nine? You know we do. Still gives us keeps us oil. We're still positive oil. 
We are... No, we're fine. Alright, now we can upgrade you. And we can upgrade you. We can deploy you guys defensively or offensively or whatever we want to do. Probably deploy you here and then start doing shots from there. Help you guys defend. Um, I mean, getting an anti-air gun would be useful. As well as bumping up to machine guns. Thankfully, you're still safe to keep doing what you're doing. Trading them, huh? Probably just going to get taken here in a minute, but we'll see what we can do for a trading dome. All right, planes. Let's put a lumber mill there. It's actually a really good tile. All right, if we can protect our units, we can start building up an army. Oh, I forgot that you were by yourself, buddy. My bad. We can tuck you in there. Thankfully, you did not die. That would have been awkward. Airplanes, deploy or just start shooting. I guess we'll deploy. So you're covering the things over here. Probably means it's safer to put this guy out here now. Actually, I'd still rather put you in the fort, I think. Two envoys. Um, get a little bit with Singapore, I suppose, so let's do that. So he actually did more damage to us than we did to him, which is not great. Uh, let's gain sources here first. Yeah, that's actually not good. He was able to whoop up on us a bit. Hmm, how do we deal with that? Not that far away from getting a promotion, which would help him with this situation. So I think we just tuck you back in. You're just going to, I guess... Mm, I guess we're going to tuck you back in. We're going to put you here, because we're about to be able to turn you into an army. You are way over your housing. You could use a neighborhood. Oh, it's the wrong person. That's Sydney. I thought that was Melbourne. Uh, I mean, you could also use housing. Field cannon chill. You're going to be turned into a machine gun here in a bit. You're chilling. Oh, Terry can't really move up much more because it's going to be a sitting duck. Actually, cancel where you're moving. Hmm. Alright, so that should get him a promotion, which it does. Perfect. And the artillery coming up soon. Ooh, I don't know. I feel like it's been a lot slower than it usually is. Alright, so the airplane did defend, but not enough to actually do anything here. In order to rally people, governments need enemies. That's a good chunk of gold there. But for now, we'll leave that off. Alright, got your promotion. I guess we'll go... Dogfighting. Uh, 
Oh, we're going to give you dogfighting as well. Perfect timing. Oh, you can grab. I mean, we don't really just desperately need the plus one range, but it can come in handy in the long run. So uh, we'll do that. I guess we'll come back here and pick up mass media. Okay. I mean, I would love to get the research labs, but we still got to keep pushing our, our military to kind of do something here. Going with trade routes, getting plenty of gold from that. As soon as you get done with the hangar, we'll build us another artillery to group with you. Uh, do we just want to buy another fighter? We got the aluminum for it. Uh, we are draining aluminum pretty fast, but I feel like it's going to be useful to us. Also, would love to start getting some bombers out, but I don't need that. That no, that that's going to happen right now. Could get a bomber, but I think we need at least another fighter. I don't know why. Three fighters just feels like a good sweet spot based on what we're looking at. All right, we're going to pull you out here. Cover this side of things with your promotion. Do we think we can move the artillery now? Um... I don't know. Not with these are these uh, anti-tank crews coming here. I don't know that we can. You guys, however, can start blowing up anti-tank crews. I think we go for it. I don't know why. I just feel like, oh, I should have moved you over. Maybe he kills it. Maybe he doesn't. If he does, then I guess we'll know. All right, you can, uh, actually, you can deploy right on top of the tank. Help us get a bit more. <laughs> I mean, we're covered from the air. I mean, they're not super strong because obviously that guy's only got one promotion, but we're, we're there. Um, let's go research lab, I guess. Oh, no, sorry. You were going to do another artillery. Get you to an army. Oh, I did lose some alliances. So there was an easier way to renew all these. A bit tedious. I mean, it's only two of them. It doesn't take that long, but it's still, you know, it's like, this was an easier one click button. Cool. All right, got all that going. Three fighters. If we can keep them alive, we'll be able to tear through any units he brings over. So I'm happy with that. Love Jesus to take care, but I think he dies if he stays. I think what we need to do is we need to rebase you back here. Or even up here. What are you down here? At least our tailor could finish you off.
I'm hoping this fighter stays alive. It's a little sketchy there. Matt, what else do we need to kind of group up here? I mean, I'd like to get the tank figured out, turned into a core or turned into army. Just weren't working on that. If we can keep it alive. Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm trying to figure out how to parse your name. Was it uh, Curric? Uh, is useless in the face of educated curricula? Things. Curricula? Something like that? I, I forget. I've been trying to learn. <laughs> but I'm still a long ways away from actually knowing things. I don't like the tank sitting here, to be honest, but... What do we got to do here? Um, I guess we'll blow up you first. You're the most dangerous to our tank. I guess I would love to heal you, but if you can get XP, XP's pushing us towards heals as well, so we're okay with that. Uh, I want to keep the pressure on the city. I don't think I'm super worried about the tank here. I could be wrong. Oh, I forgot to move the stupid observation balloon again. It's alright. Um, one error score for each aerodrome building constructor. That's kind of cool. Uh, and we're building a few of these. It's not none of those are really that special, to be honest. All right, so we can get machine guns. We can get into aircraft guns, which will help a little bit. Help us make us let's just put our uh, units on offense as opposed to defense. Would love to get up to do up to the drone as well. Um, can we buy us a anti aircraft gun? Eighteen twenty. Okay. So we're a little ways away from that. Okay, um, still worried about this fighter here. I gotta remember to move the observation balloon over. I, I appreciate that you just attacked my anti tank crew. Alright, gold. I will definitely take that attack, get you some XP. And then Charlie can stay focused on the city. Oh no, no, on escort. If you over now we can attack the city. Because now both of you guys can attack the city. I guess you're gonna stay focused on the city as well. Get you some XP. Um, looks good. Uh, oil furs. We're all right. I don't have a ton. We got to keep buying aluminum, unfortunately, but it is what it is. It's unfortunate that we have no aluminum. Does he have aluminum anywhere nearby? I don't see any. Eventually, we're going to start taking some of his stuff. Guess we'll heal you since you don't know, need to attack right now anyway. It's another thing that gets us more XP from uh, air units. Oh, 
All units gain 25% experience. I thought there was one for air units. Maybe we already have it. I just haven't been using it. It probably sounds about something. I feel like there is. Maybe I'm misremembering it. Um... Just when there was. There probably is, and I just don't have it yet or something. Alright, yeah, that's bad. He's got jet fighters. That's bad. He's much more technologically advanced than us. That is very, very bad. Probably comes over and kills his fighter, is my guess. Yep, not a surprise. Not a surprise. It's almost like I know what this game's about. I mean, we can get rid of a jet fighter by just taking the city here in a bit. Although I'm pretty sure he kills this artillery crew here in a moment as well. And we're pretty far from jet fighters, aren't we? And then they're down here. I wanted to get drones, and I think I still do. Near the Misogis. I remember that. Seen that wonder before. I'm sure I have. Um, I guess we'll do a, I don't know, <laughs> actually, um, now we can upgrade you to a machine gun, might as well, I guess we'll have you do a machine gun group, just to kind of have that covered. Hmm. All right, you are able to deploy over here. Theoretically, you can take the city now, but I think we got to guarantee it. So let's go ahead and take the shot here. Yeah, at least a waste of promotion, but we got to make sure we can get the city. Yep, yeah, gets rid of an, 
a fighter, which is awesome. And we just need to put a governor here. That's okay. We can put, honestly, we just put Victor here. Cool. Well, we got a city out of the way. <laughs> What's next? Um, I mean, if that's all we took, at least we took something. Like, I don't, I don't really care to be at war with him. I just wanted to start causing some havoc. Maybe we piece him out now. That we just don't, we don't really need anything. I, I wasn't trying to destroy him. I just wanted to get something for all of our trouble. Which, to be fair, one city might not be enough for all of our trouble, but it is a start. Yeah, I think we put piece him out, start pushing towards some sort of victory at this point. Or 90 gold per turn. Peace, and we get the city. Oh, we want our spy back. Okay, 160 gold and our spy. Okay, that works. I think this is fair. We'd love to take a bunch of aluminum. But we'll go with this. Cool. Happy with that. I mean, we can try to get a city out that's going to happen. But yeah, we got a city out of it. I'm okay with that. I mean, we just I don't really need to be at war. That's not the whole point of all this. I'm only at war because he wants to be at war. So we'll set ourselves up a little more defensively here so that whenever he comes back, which he probably will, we're in a good place. Uh, you need to be upgraded to a machine gun. Uh, I guess you need to come over here to, get up to become an army, uh, which does mean we don't need that one. So I totally forgot we already had one sitting there. Uh, what do we need? Already got tanks coming out. We got anti-tank crew. Honestly, another digger. Turn you into an army would be fine. And that would be all we need. That'd give us a nice little tight-knit military. One more artillery would be ideal, but with the three fighters, I think we're going to be okay. All right, we did get our spy back. Who are you under? Bursa. Let's go to Bursa and start just doing stuff over there. Causing havoc. I don't even know what victory type we're going for. <laughs> we might just go Diblo or something, you know. Keep it simple. If it weren't for electricity, if you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. All right, we want to come over here to something. Um, I mean, the alliance points from democracy, probably okay. Just need to build some sewers, which we can do. Uh, let's see, you already built your sewer. We have a governor plaza yet. Um, put one down here. Why not? Let's get us a government plaza. You, Chancery would be good, I suppose. More influence points would be actually really huge. Let's go airport first because it's going to give us error score. Alrighty. Um... Honestly, let's just appoint Magnus somewhere. Probably could use him.
Alright, we got a nice little... We got a little military. It's not a big one, but it's strong enough to do what we need to do. He had nothing left. Wow. We could have kept going on the attack for them, I suppose, but I just don't need it. <laughs> we were fine. We don't need it. I'd like to buy some influence points so we can make sure we get two more diplo points coming up. So, can we purchase some diplomatic favor? We can. It's not a lot, but if we purchase it from them, then they won't have it. So, honestly, we can just go right down the line here. Purchase whatever we can. Doesn't matter how much gold it costs us. It just means less for them and more for me. Could have gotten a diplo point for this, but I'm actually not that worried about that one. It's just one point. And we'll grab audience chamber. I mean, you actually have a thing. Let's go repair the outer defenses and then we'll go from there. Um, let's actually get Magnus pumped up a bit. A bit. Although Armani could also be useful. All right, one more turn on computers. We'll swap off of that because we'll eventually get an eight slot government. All right. Got this. Um, I think our patch prefers this outcome. Interesting. Well, first up, we want to grab this and we want to put as many points as we can into this. Although it looks like Theodora might be able to swing that away from us. Go for that. And then if we vote for Kublai Khan, then whatever points he's got, he will. We might actually be able to get a diplo point from that just by going for him and helping with that. And then I think. Something like that might get us the best chance at points. It's a good chance we'll lose this one because of her, but we'll see. <laughs> you voted for me? I was not expecting that. And it's Earth Satellite. So we only got the two from down here. I was not expecting that one to go for me. Did I not pick him? Did he vote for me? I guess they get stuff for sending us stuff to me. So I guess it's not impossible to believe that they would do that. But it's just, I was not expecting that. But we did get two points. Uh, we got a government neutralized. Okay. Um, you are what? We need to get you some promotion, so we're going to go for that still. It's actually neck and neck between us and the uh, Ottomans on that one. All right, we can swap out computers now. Honestly, I don't know what we want to go for here. We might as well get rocketry. We can always pivot to that if we feel like we need to.
How many cords we could get? Uh, just simply by decommissioning some stuff, which we only have one. So I guess we could decommission it. Uh, and we do need sewers for things, so let's go get a couple more sewers wherever we can. Two points here. Uh, nothing's really going to flip. Well, we can get Mogadish up to six, so I guess we'll do that. Oh, what do we want to do now? Um, I guess we can be friends with you. Oh, I was going to check the victory condition stuff. So we're at 13. We must have got an extra point there that I didn't realize. Um, maybe it's not who specifically has it. Maybe it's just if the, the thing passes at all. Maybe that's all it needed to be. Science. I mean, Lady Six Guy could be problematic here very, very soon. Culture, I'm not worried at all. Domination, I'm not worried at all. Religion, no, Lady Six Guy is working towards it. But we are the most on diplomacy. So I think we're okay, but definitely... One thing about diplomacy is it's a little bit out of your control to some degree. I say that. I mean, it's, it's one of the easier ones to get, but you also have to kind of have things that can give you diplo points. So I guess is what I meant by being out of your control. Like, I have to sit around and wait for emergencies or wait for things before I actually have a chance of actually getting anything. Building a harbor here would allow us to get a Statue of Liberty built here, I suppose. But we can't get the harbor until we get to 16 pop, which we're not miles away from. We would need to get some housing, though. Honestly, we can replace this fort at this point. Uh, let's get up. <laughs> Kicking our guys out. Let's get a Monty somewhere. Where do we want to get a Monty? Fez, maybe? Uh, that's not really helpful to us. Honestly, probably... Probably Singapore, if we can start working on that. All right, I'll point you at Singapore. You can get a hopper at 16, which you're not quite there yet. Let's get the sewer. Make sure we have that all boosted up. Cool. All right. Feeling a little bit better about the structure of things. We still don't have the tanks, but those are coming out here in a few turns. And that'll be basically the last of our military units for right now. Yeah, we're getting outpaced here pretty heavily. I think there's much we can do about it, though, right? There's just nothing... Like, we can decommission here. Or we can't. I thought you had, though. Oh, we never got the coal one here. Did we not get a coal power plant somewhere? Did I make that up? I must have made it up. Okay, then. Yeah, we have nothing to decommission. We have no way to get that. Well, we're going to lose that one, unfortunately, so that is sad. I don't think we're going to win this one. I think I don't think there's enough diplomatic stuff out there right this second. There's not enough emergencies, not enough other things really to get to get what we need. I'm not feeling it. Not feeling this this game at the moment. I think Lady Six Guy's too far ahead of us uh, scientifically. Oh wow, you're at 653 signs per turn. That is insane. Okay, he's gonna be coming after us again. We know that. Not really a surprise.
Get these guys up to fighters or jet fighters. We we be all right. Better to fight for something. It doesn't look like we have any uranium. Good to know. I mean, I guess we could build one to decommission it. It was a little weird. Grab the steel technology boost. Um, spaceport is terribly long. I mean, what else we're gonna grab? So I guess we will grab the spaceport. I'll be focusing on production though. Be surprised if we're able to uh, like make any progress on the spaceport stuff. It's forty-two turn. That's a lot of game time. Got a lot of gulp return right now, though. That's there's that. Honestly, to the point where we should just go ahead and buy this like research lab, for example. We'll disrupt rocketry here. Um, what? Uh, is anybody stealing? We've only got the one spy, but what's he stealing currently? Sea stats. Very advanced technology. Wow. Same thing here. We're just going to buy the research lab. Let's be Diplo Favor. Let's go for that. I never usually go for that one, but it would come in handy here, I think. So it's not getting the boost for the nuclear fission anytime soon. We'll go ahead and just finish that one off. Need some more spies, I guess, floating about doing things, causing trouble. Demonstrated that no system, not even the most inhuman. Five year plan's pretty good. Triangle trade is pretty good too, but I mean, trade confederation by itself is not great, but it is like 10% of our culture. Economic union is pretty decent. Guess we'll go for unit maintenance. Uh, or military. Eh, we'll go for unit maintenance. That's not that much there. All right, we do have an alliance we can pick back up. You go for what? I'll say great Zimbabwe. Gold, trade route capacity, all sorts of things. You know what? Let's go for it. Why not? <laughs> we 
we really not have four sewers yet? Okay, we'll buy some sewers somewhere. There we go. I was going to say, like, surely we're close. You needed a sewer. I guess we'll just build you one there real quick. Real quick. Leave the atom alone. I mean, entertainment districts. Those will be good as well. Hey, we're only four turns away from growing to 16. Which will let us get our harbor, which will let us potentially get the Statue of Liberty. Maybe. <laughs> A lot of gold, though. Too bad we can't buy our way to uh, suzerain stuff. Like we can in uh, Civ 5. Plus four industrial zone. Not bad. We can drop an entertainment complex somewhere as well. No, it's just not got a spy. We know we need some more spies. Two envoys. Send a money to Singapore. At least get you up to six. I guess we'll sit on anything else for right now. I think it's time to promote Amani up though. Try to get her to a point where we can do something with her and we're gonna assign you back to I guess her capital. Please stay this time, maybe. Just an idea. said let there be luck yep. definitely needed those guys jet fighters makes me very happy oh i didn't realize you had something um sure to grab that i'll promote you up here in a second Alrighty. uh rocket artillery would be good i don't know if we're gonna kill a fighter right now but we'll just go ahead and push towards that claim a great person i mean don't really care but it's a great person so we'll take it i guess Uh, we should probably swap you over to doing uh, the harbor. Uh, what's the logistics of... Must be adjacent to a harbor owned by the city. That's it. So we can put the harbor... We can swap that tile, right? Give this to you. I don't know if it really matters where we put the harbor, but I just want to see both tiles. I guess we'll put it over here. That's Liberty back there, maybe. In a lake. I think, that's, I think that's where she's at normally. Um, what do we want you to do? What? That is insane. That's one of the best campus spots I've seen that's not um, the Mayas, which they have some ridiculous bonuses as well. Hey, we escaped. Escaped. Good, good, good job. Good job, guys. Yes, I know we need more amenities, but there's no more amenities to get. I don't think. Well, unless we just lost some. We probably did just lose some. We did. All right. Cool. Uh, how does that put us on? 
At least we're content everywhere. That's a good thing. Uh, we definitely want this because we want to give her A because that will give us diplo points. Which we can definitely, definitely do that. Um, let's send you back home. Maybe, eventually. Oh. Well, go per turn. Ooh, nice. Actually, we probably should swap, try to swap it to her, but I don't think we could have. I think she's already in a research alliance with somebody. To be fair, China is not the best one to go with, but it's still giving us some bonus. All right, we're pretty confident we cannot do anything with the climate accords, right? So. Men, their rights, and not. Hey, we finally got us a new government. Democracy. To err is human. But... Okay, let me get you upgraded. Get you upgraded. Um, we can get... Let's check this real quick. I mean, we'll get some Diplo favor at least, but there's just no way for us to get anything. We, we have no... We have nothing. I mean, I guess our units are what's causing some CO2. Three envoys there, which I don't know that we're going to get a neighbor with breathtaking, so let's just finish that one off. Okay, we actually got two things swapped out. New deal gets us housing and amenities. Honestly, that's actually really good. Lots of, lots of amenities would be useful. Let me just take triangular trade at this point. A bit more gold. Are we really headed towards a... Uh, we are. We're headed towards a dark age. Who to thunk? I can't believe we never did anything with power. Could have sworn we had. So weird. Yeah, we're one of the lowest, but and it's just it's nothing. Like if there's nothing going on there, we don't have anything really happening. We've got two people angry at us now. I like having a higher chance to escape. Uh, and then I guess we go right into... Wait a minute, what? Oh, it's it's got to be coast. Uh, for some reason, I thought it would be lake would count as coast. It does not. Well, it's fine. The harbor's not going to hurt anything, but that was a goof. Um, I don't know that we need any of that stuff. We need the mausoleum. It's just a wonder. It gets us some error score. You know, why not? It's not going to be very valuable, but <laughs> it's a wonder that takes six, six turns to build. Can't really go wrong with that. Plenty of gold for whatever. I mean, we'll have to build the uh, Statue of Liberty over here if we want to build it at all. Which... I mean, 48 turns, it would eventually get done. If we start sending trade routes over here, we can make it work. Although, I think we want to finish this plus seven campus first. I'm not super concerned about Statue of Liberty getting taken by somebody else. If it does, then it was going to get taken all along because 48 turns is a lot of time. Water in there. The 
two essentials on which life depends. I mean, we could get more oil, but I don't think we need it. I don't even know what to go for here. Go for capitalism. I do like the idea of market economy, maybe. I mean, I guess you could build a spaceport, because why not? If we're going to do that, let's get a builder. Go out and chop some stuff. You are... Typhon funds disrupt rocketry. I guess we're going to go back to Bursa. Four envoys. We could flip Fez, which would get us some more points coming in. So let's go for that. It's one more point, but it's something. You're still technology, so I guess we'll send you to... Civis. All right, 14 turns on that. As we start to get trade routes, we'll send them, like I said, over here. Uh, I mean, do we want to go after some city-states now? Let's go after Singapore. We're getting more spies. Oh, it gets into made. Let's do that. We gotta get that rolling anyway. Yeah, how many turns? Seven turns. So we could buy some stuff from people again if they have it. They don't. Okay. Or none that they're willing to sell, at least. It's alright. You gotta be kidding me. Mausoleum has been around for hundreds of years. I don't know how many people there. Uh, and only when I start building it do they actually finish it. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, it's hilarious. It happens every time. Not every time, but it happens a lot. It's so funny. Um... Again, nothing we can do here. We might get a bronze. It'll get us a little bit of Diplo favor. Yay us. Uh, military aid, though. Or the uh, aid here. We can definitely get this one, though. I know pinning a point into repair and defense is just silly, but it just bothers me every time it exists. All right, we're going to move you over here. Get some production coming in there. I mean, I guess if we're not going to get the Climate Accords anyway, we might as well build one of these other things. Oh, you know what? When they banned the coal, that might have gotten rid of our coal automatically. That might have been all that happened. And we don't have nuclear, so I can't do nuclear, even though it would give us some science. It gives us a lot of science. We'd have to see if we can get some uranium from somebody. A bunch. It's going to cost us everything we got, though. more friends let's uh trade stuff oh, that's so much gold oh what do we want to buy buy everything um I don't really feel the need to buy anything right this second is the problem We'll definitely be able to get money from here if we ever need to. So, like, I'm not worried about that right this second. Uh, I mean, you had a good campus spot over here, didn't you? Although it's currently bananas. Plus three is actually not that much. Not that bad. Just put that over there. I 
Well, of course you're denouncing me. There may be no forgiveness for polyester. On this one matter, the inherent vice of capitalism is the only... All right, is that a better one? It probably is. Yes, it is. Market economy is really good, actually. Honestly, six across the board might be better than just flat gold when we have as much gold as we do. I mean, by that token, this is probably just better as well. A little bit of science, a little bit of gold, a little bit of whatever. All right, do that. Oh, we don't have any power at all. Apparently, this is going to be a powerless run. Um, three turns there. Climate Accords is about to finish, but again, nothing we can do about it. So, it is what it is. I'm just going to keep sending aid from here for a bit. Even though we have plenty of gold to do it ourselves. Um, now we'll finish that off. Not anything I need right now. To spend gold on or anything. And if they would let us do more. It might be a one-time Diplo favor thing that they do. But. Uh, yeah, we got enough oil to support a destroyer. Why not? I mean, he's probably going to get killed, but, you know, stick him out there somewhere. Let him do a thing. It's a gold from that. Yeah, 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 you hate me. Did we just go Dark Age? We did, didn't we? Um, I guess we'll go for another city-state. Well... I mean, none of these are good. I guess we'll do the Body of Lies. We at least have some spies going out and about. Now we're getting to a weird place where we don't really have any boosts or anything. All right, spies done here in Melbourne. Again, we are in a dark age. I don't think we're losing any loyalty anywhere, though. I think we're kind of fine. Oh, yeah, spaceport here, please. You're going to go for the Statue of Liberty, please. Doesn't really matter. All right, got one more turn until the next session to allow us to get uh, some chance at some more Diplo. Um, we know a lot of people want this one. We just don't know which one. I feel like it's either usually go to production. We'll go production. I mean, we'll pick ourselves for this. As many points as we can into that. It's, again, it's very possible that Byzantine will go against us here, but we'll try what we can, and then... I just don't know. Set to who? Me. I don't feel like we're going to get... Honestly, we might not get any Diplo points off this one. All right, set to Lady Six Guy. Production, hey, we did get a point there, and we did two points there. So it looks like we might have gotten three.
Got four. Okay. Did the space station one, does that count for one? I've never really noticed if that counts for one before. Or does the one that, that Lady Six guy won, again, does it, does it not matter who it is as long as it's the, the, the right thing? Maybe that's all it is. Um, send aid. Oh, we need a builder here to go hook up at least that and those two, I guess. Let's build a builder here real quick. Just when in doubt, send some aid. Hey, I'll give us some electricity finally. Oh, we do have a way to build two broadcast centers, actually. Let's do that. Let's get you to be a broadcast center. Might as well get a boost when we have it. Got plenty of gold for it. Right now, there are 31 satellites zipping around the world with nothing but. Right, mech infantry, I guess. We equipped you to mech infantry. Oh, it's going to use oil, though. We got enough for it. I guess it's worth it. I mean, I think the digger is pretty close. Honestly, I think we could have gone with just the digger and been fine with it, but it's still pretty close either way. All right, go with that. Are we already... We're probably already on the path of losing, aren't we? Because somebody's already, already launched the thing. Yep. So, Lady Six has already launched. Oh, actually, we're going to lose. I didn't realize Theodora was that close. Well, all right. It's fine. It's unfortunate, but it's going to be okay. I think I'd rather you hook that up. We're only three away. And this is what four. So if we finish that, that would be amazing. Uh is there anything we could chop to help us finish it? No nothing. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh is there a guy that we can get that would help us? No. Alrighty. Oh, we can get some great work, so I guess we might as well. I should have been doing this all along. Uh let's see here. Another landscape. Four great works of writing. To music. And three of the same somethings. That'll work right there, actually. I mean, they're kind of expensive, but it'll work. And then whatever else we want to grab. Doesn't that matter. Grab a sculpture. It'll work. All right, cool. That all looks good. so close to the diplomacy stuff this will get us two diplo points as well but that's that's going to be one shy yeah it's really statue of liberty or nothing if we don't get statue of liberty we are definitely in time i should say we're definitely not going to win and i don't think we get it in time i could be wrong but i don't see how we get it in time uh we can get a builder right there though 
code here will get us a little more production. Nothing else really going to make a difference to that right now. No, we're actually losing loyalty here. Barely. I don't know what else we could do. Um, I mean, we might as well buy the library and the university and whatever else we can buy here. And more amenities that would help as well. So you get trade routes over there. It's really the big thing. And we got one too many trade routes as it is. Although we will get a trade route from this, right? Yeah, we will get one back from that if we can get finished that off. Cold War is not thawing. It is burning with a deadly heat. Uh, do we have anything that helps us with wonders? Yeah, we do. I should have plugged that in a long time ago. Uh, let's go for trying to get a trade. And actually, this colonial taxes will help you too, won't it? I think you're the city that's over there off by itself. So this will drop you. Grab colonial. Taxes. I guess we could have gotten rid of a Raj, come to think of it. Um, Production Source City Project doesn't really help us. I guess economic union maybe helps a little bit, slightly. Or anything that will give us amenities. Let's go amenities, because we get a little bit of a bonus from that. All right, let's try this. Obviously, shaves off a few turns there, but we really just got to get the trade routes over there. I mean, a useless person, but we'll grab him. Halved for gold. It grants tourism in each of the city's districts equal to its adjacency bonus. Halved for gold. I don't know if I care. Just be where you're at. I don't know if it matters. I'm not sure if I understand that one. Uh, yeah, do that. At least we're getting power from some things, right? Because this gives us power, doesn't it? Oh my. Why is it so bad? I mean, at this point, I'm not going to move you. <laughs> this is whatever. Uh, okay, you need to go over here. Pretty sure we lose this. I just can't see. I don't remember when she started. Or I don't know when she started. Pretty confident we lose this, though. You're in like 80 turn now. She definitely doesn't have 23 turns left. That's for sure. I think we'd rather just have the raw production here. Saves off two turns right there. I'm 
turn on that will get us a trader up back. Again, I'm pretty sure it's too little too late. I'm not buying. There's nothing else we can do, right? It's just not. King Solomon gave the Queen of Sheba all she desired and asked for, besides what he had given her out of his royal bounty. So she turned and went to her own country, she and her servants. It's a good wonder. Probably should have done it a long time ago, but that's all right. If technology is the engine of change. All right. Uh, this is from over here. Yes, Hobart. Let me come back to you just to make sure you're the right one. Uh, what is that? Yeah. Actually, I don't know if it matters. Let's go bombers or something. Uh, Great Zimbabwe is done. Okay, you are this one. Shows off three more turns. I think it's too little, but we'll play it out. Nobody else, another, you know, the governor would help us more, would it? No, I don't think so. The only thing that would help us would be Raina if we had contractor to buy some districts. No surprise. I wish we knew how much time was left. It's got to be like less than 10 turns. So I think we're going to be like five turns away. A good plan violently executed right now is far better than a perfect plan. Oh, can you only put a farm here? Okay. I thought you could put Symptonus here. I mean, I don't think... Well, farm helps a little bit, I guess. More growth means more people, more production. So I guess it technically helps. Ever so slightly. Poof. Oh, you have buildings and electricity. Oh, that's just your science building, so I'm not worried about that. Okay. I think I let the Ottomans distract me for too long. That's industrial zone. Not going to be that helpful, though. I mean, we can trade some astronauts. I t there's no way this one matters, right? Why not? I don't think anything else is going to help be helpful anyway, so you might as well do that. 
It turns on that. Um. That is a lot of tanks. He has really rebuilt his military big time. I would say invisibility would be. Don't actually know what we want here. Let's go great works stuff so we get more culture. Sure. Part of me hopes that we finish this one. <laughs> so we'll know that we were one Diplo point away and that's just the way it's going to be. <laughs> but... I mean, you're literally working every tile that you can, so I don't think there's anything... Even, like, consuming one of these to get more growth would only give us one more production down here. So I don't know that that helps that much. stumble upon your heritage it's there just waiting to be explored and shared i mean i guess in case it comes up there's stuff here that gives us diplo what's way over there. there's no way we get to it anyway so never mind oh actually wait a minute one second you don't give a diplo point to you do not We can flip Singapore, we can flip Fez, we can flip Vilnius in Mexico City. If we had a factory in that other city, it would help a lot. Three tiles further. That actually might help if we could get that, but we just, we're not going to be able to get that. We're going to be one point away. Still, it feels like it would be good. Oh, no, no, we'll grab that one. That's exactly what we grab. Plus two production there. I mean, for whatever it's worth, we'll put three points in that. Circle back around. Is there anything that could just give us envoys? I don't think we have anything left to give us. Okay, there's one on. Oh, uh, there's a couple envoys. We'll grab that. We'll grab that. Work way towards globalization. Already. Ten turns away. <laughs> oh, we're going to lose by less than ten turns. We're right at ten turns. complete the crooked become I like to say I practice militant oh it was a diplo point right there didn't I, didn't even realize that was there uh seven turns it'll be one turn less than this and okay we'll see that actually would get us the win before we even got the statue of liberty one turn sooner <laughs> which is not much <laughs> But I could have done that sooner. I didn't realize there was one there. I totally forgot about that one. That is on me. All right, keep training astronauts, I suppose. I'd be surprised if we can do enough to matter, but we might as well. 
Alright, we just got one Envoy here. Which, there's no really where to go. So we'll just sit on We can send it there, but I'm just going to sit on it for now. Surprised we had more trade routes pop back up. We can no more have exact religious thinking without... Two envoys. Still not quite enough to do anything with, so we'll just sit on them. A nuclear power plant. Um, Actually, we could speed that up just by buying a nuclear power plant. We don't have any nuclear stuff to run it, but we could buy one. That now puts our victory at five turns. <laughs> We're going to lose by five turns. Oh, I can see it coming. Oh, I can see it coming. Wait a bit. We're doing that and then we're doing that. We can go straight to there. I would not have seen that. Actually, I would have assumed we had to go through robotics, but I see that there's not a line up there after all. Fair enough. Five turns away from victory because obviously we're going to get this. We'll make sure that we get that. Okay. I'm not sure how concerned about about this. I mean, it's annoying. I don't think it matters that much. I mean, if they come over here and mess with Hobart, I'll be a little bit concerned about that. I mean, that'll be annoying, but other than that, nothing else really matters here. Uh, do we have enough aluminum? We do have enough aluminum for another airplane. Oh, I didn't want you to pop there. Pop you down here, then we'll get another one down here. We might lose that one. I don't think that changes anything as far as... Um, there, still two turns away from that one. We just, we don't know over here. We assume that she's going to win any time now. No, we don't need Sunday. That's not going to help. Not going to get there in time. I guess we'll just do another spy or something. Alrighty. Well, we just gotta survive. But again, either she wins or we win. One of those two is going to happen here in just a moment. Uh, who is this later six guy? We'll send her some. Oh, we don't have any gold left. Never mind. He's got a lot of units. When we look up at night and. Oh, he's going to keep us from bailing this, isn't he? Unfortunate. I mean, we're also killing some units, so maybe we're not super concerned just yet. Um, oh, they're going to pillage trade routes. 
That's the problem. Part of the problem. We'll still try to send them out because it's going to help a little bit if we can get even a little couple ticks of it. We only need a couple ticks for the trade routes, to be honest. So I'm not. It's fine. I mean, <laughs> I guess if he wants to keep doing stuff, <laughs> whatever. All right, if we end up losing this now because I don't have any money left, mm, according to that, we will get it. We're literally two turns away from winning this game. <laughs> we might not get it. Oh, it's annoying. Honestly, I don't even know what we want here. Mm. Just build something fun. Doesn't really matter. Again, it's some, either the game is over, either we win in two turns, or she beats us in the next turn or two. Right? So, we know that this game is over in two turns, one way or the other. He's very strong, but he's also... We, we're also very strong as well. Like, we're very defensively sound. I'm not sure if him attacking us is very advisable, honestly. I mean, we're wrecking some units here, so I think we're okay. Oh, that wasn't him. That was her. For some reason, I thought that was him for a second there. That is her GDR. All right. Well, we haven't actually gotten the credit for this, but we should have won that. So what that means is, in theory... Oh, we're actually at war with Egypt, too. Did not realize... Doesn't really matter. Just go kill somebody. Get some XP. That means, in theory, we have won this. Unless she gets it literally the turn that we win it, which would be so sad. <laughs> oh, after all of this time, she gets it the turn we win it. That'll be that'll be pretty rough. Because we are three away. And we've got one point for this. And we got two points. Or sorry, two points for this. And we got one point for that. So we've won the game. Unless she wins the game right this second. Which is very possible. I'm actually going to promote you up. Get some more stuff here. All right, here we go. Right on time, too. Right at the end of the stream. Who wins it? Us or her? Wait, what? And the sound of your... Do we not get it till next turn? Are you kidding me? <laughs> we won the game. So if we lose now, we already know we won. So we'll take we'll take the we'll take the win, but it's gonna be unfortunate if we uh you know if it doesn't actually give us credit. I can't attack now. Okay, that's fine. All right. Well, we have won the game. Like I said, we know we've won it. 
Yes, we got three diplo points there. We got enough to win. If she wins right now, it's going to be so sad. I have a lot of war going on all over the place. It's a good, good time to be diplomatic. Like, even over here, I mean, we got so much stuff going on. There we go. Oh, that was so close. From your earliest desire to live in peace, to the times when you stood against aggression, you have always sought cooperation. You did not do this merely to brighten your own glory, but because dignity belongs to each of us. And in so doing, you have proved that your ancient and eternal commitment to a shared peace will be the foundation of the world of tomorrow. Well, we um, we weren't far from winning uh, with Statue of Liberty as well. So we did it. Not the prettiest win in the world. Definitely very bad down here on the score, but we we did it. Uh, where are we? We got the least buildings constructed. Doesn't surprise me. Actually, did capture the most cities. Ironically, not ironically, but just strangely, because we um we really weren't trying to go to war that often. Cities founded, we had the least, which I am not surprised by. Cities lost. I guess we lost one city one time. Did we get it back? I don't. Remember. Oh no, we. I think it's when we captured the city and they took it back or something like that. District construction, we were dead last. Great okay, people are earned. We were dead last. Number of comets, we were pretty high on that list because not our choice. Culture. Almost dead last, not quite. Kublai Khan was actually below us. Air score, dead last. Faith, dead last. Gold, I mean, we were the most gold, just because I, I, I tend to bank gold a lot until I absolutely need it. Science, we were third from the bottom, so not great. Score, obviously, dead last. Cities destroyed, we didn't do any. Governor titles, uh, not dead last, but towards the bottom. Total governors, I mean, whatever. Doesn't matter that much. Religious founded, obviously we didn't have a religion. Units killed, we did kill a lot of units. The only person that killed more than us was Cleopatra, actually. And she did a lot of wars early, look at that. We didn't even meet her till late. We lost the least number of units. That's the one category that is good to be dead last in. She lost the second least, considering how many combats she had or how many things she killed. That's impressive, she was doing a good job. Uh, we did receive a lot of war declarations, unfortunately. But the most was Suleiman, actually. Suleiman received the most war declarations? Interesting. And the wars declared was actually Tyus was Victoria. And then one is constructed. What? One? Two? I think it was one. I think we were building our second one there at the end. So, not the best victory, but it's a victory nonetheless. So we will take it. Got distracted by Suleiman for a bit. Oh, we weren't really in danger, though. I mean, he was... Annoying, annoying though. He was a nuisance, but really not in danger. Honestly, there at the end, we if with the game would continue on for a while, we had enough stuff to start taking some more of his cities. To be honest, we were whittling down his military. So, alrighty. Well, that's another victory in the books. Next up, ooh, Julius Caesar, new guy. Um, all right, cool. That'll be fun, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. I'm looking forward to actually getting to Coupe. We never, I never tried Coupe. I don't think. Yeah, I would have I would have had the credit for it here, right? So we haven't done that. It's only our fourth diplomatic victory. Religion's pretty low. Someday we need to do a, <laughs> never done a score, obviously we know. But yeah, religion's pretty low, and then obviously culture is I guess the next lowest point diplo. So well there we go, guys. Right on time. Well, four minutes over. But I do appreciate everybody who joined. Uh, it wasn't again the prettiest win, but it's a win. A victory is a victory. It's not always gonna be shiny and fancy and us dominating everything, but we dominated enough to given our uh, restrictions. I mean, having Australia basically to the center of a continent was kind of interesting, but I do appreciate everybody who joined or watched the VOD. Uh, may God bless you, and I hope you join me again uh, next time.